Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make doors and windows. So start off by making a house. Okay, so when you have made a house, like a box, like this, you are going to need a hole in the wall where the door is going to be. So the way I do it is placing a, an entity and pulling in the size until I get a pretty hole. like this and then I delete the entity again. Now you are going to make the door. So go and search for no door and make the grid a little bit smaller like this. And press enter. Then paint the door. I'm just going to paint it by wood. Like this. And then you select it and press Ctrl T. Then this menu pop up and you find funk underscore door. And click apply. So now you have a door. In the flex, you can see if you touch the door, it will open. I don't want that, so I shake it off. But I want it to, when I press E, it will open. So I take that on. Then I am going to see how fast it's going to go. Like 50. And I'm going to give it a reset, so after two seconds it's going to be in this position again. And if you want it, if you want to make the door kill people if they try to block it, set these two to yes. And set this to how much damage you wanted them to take per second. Like five hundred. That's an insta kill. And the way the door is going to... So this is a slide door. So if I wanted to slide down, I t I'm going to go move distance and down. Apply. So now this is going to go down when you press E on it. If you wanted to go like this way, you need to look at the top and find the way you want it this way, the left. Then you are pulling this to the left side. So now it's going to go like this. And the end point is where it started, so like this, going back and forward. If you want it to disappear completely so you don't get this mess, you are going to take it bit out. You can do it by zooming in a lot and holding ALT and dragging a little bit like this. So it's and apply. So it's going to go that way 
when you press E on it. You can also add some sounds right here. So when it starts move, it's going to say this, this sound right here. And when it stops, it's going to say this. And when it start closing again, it's going to say this. And when it start close, you know, when it stop closing the door, it's going to say this sound. So you can add sound if you want. That is all about the default door. I forgot to make light, so here is a quick light tutorial. Make an entity, make it a light, underscore environment. Then place it up in the air, in the middle of your level if you can. Go into it. Take the pitch, yaw, roll, and point at and point it somewhere on your level. Then go to your house, so it's not dark in here, and make a new entity. Then make it a light. Apply and place it in the middle of the room, so you can see in here. Let's go have some fun.